General Barr, thank you for your testimony. Uh, and let me start by just saying thank you. You've had an extraordinarily successful legal career. You didn't have to take this job. And you stepped forward and answered the call yet again, knowing full well that you would be subject to the kind of slanderous treatment, the Kavanaugh treatment that we have seen of senators impugning your integrity. Uh, and I, for one, am grateful that you answered that call and are leading the Department of Justice both with integrity and fidelity to law. That is what the nation rightly expects of our Attorney General, uh, and I believe you are performing that uh, very ably. I think this hearing today has been quite revealing to anyone watching it, although perhaps not for the reason some of the Democratic senators intended. One thing that's revealing in the discussion and questions that came up, a word that occurred almost none at all is the word Russia. For two and a half years, we heard Democratic senators going on and on and on about Russia collusion. We heard journalists going on and on and on about Russia collusion alleging, among other things, some using extreme rhetoric, calling the president a traitor. We heard very little of that in this hearing today. Instead, the principal attack that Democratic senators have marshaled upon you concerns this March 27th letter from Robert Mueller. And it's an attack that I want people to understand just how revealing it is. If this is their whole argument, they ain't got nothing. So their argument is as follows. Let me see if I understand it correctly. You initially, when you received the Mueller report, released to Congress and the public a four-page summary of the conclusions. Then on March 27th, Mr. Mueller asked you to release an additional 19 pages, the introduction and summary that he had drafted. And indeed, in the letter, what he says is, quote, I am requesting that you provide these materials to Congress and authorize their public release at this time. And the reason he says it is, to, it, is that it is that to fully capture the context, nature, and substance of the office's work and conclusion. So you did not release those 19 pages at that time. Instead, a couple of weeks later, you released 448 pages the entire report, which includes those 19 pages. Do I have that timeline correct? That's right. So their entire argument is, General Barr, you suppressed the 19 pages that are entirely public, that we have, that we can read, that they know every word of it, and their complaint is it was delayed a few weeks. And that was because of your decision not to release the report piecemeal, but rather to release those 19 pages along with the entire 448 pages produced by the, the special counsel. Yes. If that is their argument, I have to say that is an exceptionally weak argument. <laughs> because if you're hiding something, I'll tell you right now, General Barr, you're doing a very lousy job of hiding it. Because the thing that they're suggesting you hid, you released to Congress and the American people. And so if anyone wants to know what's in those 19 pages that are being so breathlessly, oh, Bob Mueller said release the 19 pages, you did. You did it a couple of weeks later. But we can read every word of the 19 pages along with the full report. In your judgment, was the Mueller report thorough? Yes. Did they expand enormous time, energy, and resources investigating and producing that report. Yes. And the Mueller report concluded flat out on the question of Russian collusion, the evidence did not support criminal charges. That's right. And indeed, the Mueller report, if I have these stats right, was compiled by 19 lawyers who were on the team approximately 40 FBI agents, intelligence analysts, forensic accountants, and professional staff, 
The special counsel issued more than 2,800 subpoenas, nearly 500 search warrants, more than 230 orders for communication records, almost 50 orders authorizing the use of pen registers, 13 requests to foreign government for evidence, and interviewed approximately 500 witnesses. Is that correct? That's right. So we have investigated over and over and over again and the substance of the accusations that have been leveled at the president for two and a half years have magically disappeared. Instead, the complaint is the 19 pages that we can all read that is entirely public could have been released a few weeks earlier. Oh, the calamity. Let me shift to a different topic, a topic that has been addressed already quite a bit. I believe the Department of Justice under the Obama administration was profoundly politicized and was weaponized to go after political opponents of the president. If that is the case, would you agree that politicizing the Department of Justice and weaponizing it to go after your political opponents is an abuse of power? I think it's an abuse of power regardless of who does it. Of course. Yeah. Um, to the best of your knowledge, when did surveillance of the Trump campaign begin? The position today appears to be that it began in July, but I uh, do not know the answer to the question. It is an unusual thing, is it not, for the Department of Justice to be investigating a candidate for president, particularly a candidate from the opposing party of the, of the party in power? Yes. Do we know if the Obama administration investigated any other candidates running for president? I don't know. Do we know if they wiretapped well, any I'm sorry, other? I guess they were investigating Hillary Clinton for the, the email. The email thing. Do we know if there were wiretaps? I don't know. Do we know if there were efforts to send investigators in wearing a wire? I don't know. So, General Barr, I would urge you have had remarkable transparency. You promised this committee you would with regard to the Mueller report. You promised this committee and the American people you would release the Mueller report publicly. You have released the report. Anyone can read it. It's right here. I appreciate that transparency. I would ask you to bring the same transparency to this line of questioning about whether, whether and the extent to which the previous administration politicized the Department of Justice targeted their political rivals and used law enforcement and intelligence assets to surveil them improperly. 